Hey y'all, this is your boy Beastamon, and I am back with the summit. Okay, so for the summit, uh, yeah, everything's gonna be random, like last time. I think, ironically, when I played the summit last time, uh, cause, th well, last time we were in hot pursuit mode, but last time, I totally screwed up. I couldn't turn at all. <laughs> I don't know if it was snowing or not, but pretty much how Ice did in uh, Country Woods was like how I was as far as the summit, which is really terrible. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm going to pick uh, the Diablo SV because I know I'm going to have a hard time. Uh, now, as far as my like favorites, it's like I like the yellow, the yellow color of obviously the purple color, and then the light blue color. Uh, actually all the colors are good. I don't see one that I hate, but I'm going to go with the light blue one. And then obviously the random is going to be full grid. And away we go. So yeah, I'm already thinking ahead and I'm thinking about doing Empire, well obviously I'm going to be doing Empire City by itself. It's not going to be posted up with, you know, um, it's not like if this is with Aquatica. It's not going to be um, Empire City is not going to be posted up with it. It's just going to be Aquatica and some of Empire City by itself. Oh my God! It's like the same conditions as last time, but there's eight players, no police. Three. Oh my two, God! This is going to end bad. One, this is probably the only go. race I lose. I don't remember. What, no, I used the XJR uh, 15 last time and it screwed up badly. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. Oh my! So y'all just gonna clip me, right? Yeah, and the problem with this is if you use your brake, you will use it too much. Chances are, it depends on your car though. If you have a Countach, this might be good for you because uh, yeah, the Countach keeps you <laughs> it keeps you uh, straightened out. Oh my god! So I'm already calling it like I did last time. Pretty sure I called the fact that I was gonna lose. If you couldn't tell by the description I put in um, Hot Pursuit mode when I did it. Uh, e oh my god. That's the only part I have a problem with is the city. And yeah, that was the easiest part for the police to get on me. I think within two laps I got arrested, or was it early third lap? Anyways, I think Ice knew he's gonna win, so he didn't even bother trying to antagonize me. He just went ahead. Oh my god. Yeah. The key is to break, like, you know, just break a little bit, don't break a lot, but it's kind of hard for me. Don't you honk at me, Terra. I will mess you up. Yeah, how am I going to do that if I can't even race the course? <laughs> I'm lucky there are four laps. Whoa. <sighs> Great, now I'm hugging the corners too much. <sighs> how am I seven seconds behind people? It should be like 30 seconds behind people. Okay, this is the part of the course I really don't mind. Uh, all these turns and... They'll keep me under control. Because the problem is not that I spin out, it's just the fact that I I, uh, I break too much and then, you know, either I break too much or I don't break enough. The curves help me, you know, if there's a shoulder it helps me, you know, stay on the side. Or if there isn't one, I don't know, I just, you know, glide into oblivion or something. Why the hell am I in second? Okay, Ice, you're not doing your job. You're not doing your job, bro. You had to please help you the first time. Uh oh. So this is probably going to be the most exciting course behind uh, <laughs> Lost Canes. I didn't talk about that in the Aquatica video, but I was oh my god, I was losing my stuff and um. Oh my god, Lost Canyons. I freaked out. This course I'm not gonna freak out any because there's and he's got my favorite one of my favorite other colors. I think cause Ice loves purple. Like Ice is a purple fiend. Well I guess that's the only thing we got in the comments. The fact that when it comes to cars, you know, most cars can sport a purple without looking too, you know, weird. Or some people argue it looks too effeminate. Whatever. 
Purple is royalty. Take it or leave it. Colors are just colors. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that. This is the part of the course I hate. Thank goodness I didn't go forward because if I did, uh, I, I imagine Ice would have got ahead of me at the last second like he's going to here and I would have got screwed. So because I'm going backwards, uh, the hard part comes after the, uh, oh no, it goes after the, you know, after the uh, starting point or the finish point once you're done lap four, so that really helps. That's another thing. Okay, if you're in a race game like this and you're spinning out, you should lower your speed too. But my problem is when I lower my speed, I end up turning too much, or I can't, you know, I can't get the acceleration back that I did when I was going fast. And yes, it does depend on your vehicle most of the time when you play this racing game. Oh my god. Um, suddenly, for no reason at all, I'm thinking about F-Zero and how hard that game was. I don't even think I completed like 10% of the game. <laughs> you have got to be a hardcore old school racing fan to enjoy that. Even though it's futuristic, because... I mean, you have to like go in expecting that you're not going to do well. You know, these new games, they expect you to be a freaking elitist as soon as you play like you know what you're doing. And it's like, yeah, if you played the series before, but... F-Zero or something else, if you go into it lightly, you will get screwed. Of course, there are a lot of people that can play that game good. I'm not one of them. As I said in the last video, I'm casual. But anyway, see, like, during this point in the summit, I can be in first and I won't, you know, be paranoid, but once you come out of the, the uh, you know, the summit portion of this mountain, it just get real. See, I can make corners like that where I don't hit the wall at the same time I have enough speed to keep going as fast as I want. You go into that town, you get screwed. You go into the town like that. Okay, so we're off that part of the summit just about. So yeah, um, of course in a rocky pass before the starting line, you should have no problem. Okay, maybe you should have a little bit of problem. Like, especially there are parts that they, there's not a shoulder or a side, so yeah. Just trying to run into the trees, but shouldn't really have a problem. If you're used to Rocky Pass, you should have this part. But as far as going forward, if you're going forward, uh, you have to, you, you kind of have a harder part if you go through the town having trouble because you have to go through the town in order to go to the, fit, uh, you know, go towards um, that sharp corner, the, sharp, the two sharp corners that lead to the finish line. Whereas if you're going backwards, you have the easier part, and then you go to the, uh, well, and then you go to the, uh, finish line, and then, like, if it's not your last lap, then you'll go into the town where you're struggling. Oh my god, ice is pretty much on my tail. But yeah, if I lose this, I, I wouldn't be too surprised or disappointed. This is, like, the one course I'd be like, oh, I lost. Huh. But yeah, the most nervous I've been is when um, Blazing was in first. I'm like, oh god, that was crazy. That's your. I mean, I still won that, but <laughs> if you've not seen my single-player uh, Boss Canyon video. I make some hilarious references, including a cigarette program, and yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, end up thinking I lose prematurely, but I didn't. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and somehow I magically have a glitch in that uh course, which sort of uh is an homage to how I did the first time in uh <laughs> um. Red Rock Ridge when I played a uh, Hot Pursuit mode. So yeah, if you didn't see that, if you didn't see the first two videos of Hot Pursuit mode, yeah. That's pretty much how I did in Hot Pursuit, like, 
I'd say half of the choruses were. Oh my goodness, this boy's on my tail. Wow, I almost crashed into the... Seriously? I almost crashed into the freaking pillar. What is Ice doing? You could have easily passed me if you tried to drive behind me. I think he was trying to pit maneuver me, jerk. I'm not a perp, don't try to don't try to do that. Save it for hot pursuit mode. Yeah, that's one thing. When you you could go to that corner fast, even though it looks like there are trees you could crash into, chances are you're not gonna crash into them at all. That's just how it looks. Now all of a sudden ice is back there a little. Come on, man. It's not that hard to catch up. I know I shouldn't be looking behind me, but I can't help it. This is where I make up for how stupid I get in the town and all the way to the freaking ski lift. That is like my biggest problem. I don't know if it's anybody else's, whether you go forward, backwards, mirrored, or whatever, but... That town area is crazy. I probably would have did better using the count attach of the 355 F1. Especially since it's snowing. I don't know if uh, snowing constitutes the weather, you know, like as far as it's snowing regularly or if it snows harder when it's snowing. I don't know. Weather for each course varies, so I don't know if snow is the regular occurrence or if it's, you know, what happens when you press random. But. If you have a count hatch and uh, you won't really have problems turning with uh, you know weather. At least that's how I felt when I was doing um. Uh, what did I use a count hatch for? Was it? I think it was either. Uh, it might have been Country Woods instead of Red Rock Ridge. See now ice is starting to catch up. Honestly, for, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, for Empire City, I haven't even thought about what car I'm going to use. Maybe I'll That's use another police car or something. Lap. I don't know. The final lap. Wow. This is what I'm talking about right here. Didn't even get to the town yet. You can also take a shortcut through that uh, pole if you're smart enough, but I don't want to risk it. Pretty sure I did it in hot pursuit mode and it did not, it didn't bode well for me. Somehow this car is acting like it knows how to turn. Look at all those skid marks. If those skid marks were in my underwear, nobody would ever sit near me again. This is unprecedented. Is ice really still like more than a second behind me? <laughs> that is some crazy luck. Honestly, uh, I'm not that adventurous anyway. But if someone ever asked me to like go on a, you know, like a snowboard adventure with them. It's not like I would, it's just I would be so afraid of the freaking like if they asked me to go skiing, I'd be so afraid of ski lifts and looking down. I'm not really afraid of heights, but if I'm doing something I'm not used to, like snowing, uh like like uh not snowing, snowboarding or skiing, that would really get me, you know paranoid in the way where it's like uh. Speaking of, are you guys watching the Olympics? Because, yes, I'm recording this and it's the 8th of February. 
Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big Olympics fan, like as far as winter Olympics. I mean, the only thing I'm really interested in is probably snowboarding and maybe, I'm pretty sure, they, they do lugeing, right? Like, where you lay down and then you're, you know, you slide down. Like, I'm interested in that because, like, I don't see it a lot, but I have seen some other things, um, like figure skating and stuff. Which is pretty, you know, it's pretty cool. I've seen some, you know, slope style. I've seen, um, I don't know, um, I think it was like a bi marathon or something with, uh, skiing and stuff. I've also seen, um, yeah, I've seen a lot of skiing events too. I don't know them, I don't know the name by heart, so. I've seen a little bit of speed skating, uh, too. But yeah, I'm not really a big sports fan. I know it sounds weird for a guy like me to say that, but I'm just not. It's nothing personal or anything, but I don't know. I've honestly always hated gym. I, I just do. Some people are just too competitive for my taste. That's your best lap. You've won oh. the race. Oh. Oh. Um. So I won the race. Congratulations. You've got a top 10 time for this track. Uh, huh. Not even sure to respond to that one. I even got a 7th place finish. Now you know something's got to be up with that. But Ice wasn't that far behind. Holy moly, look at the uh, the gap between Terror and Swerve. Wow, that is, oh my god. It's almost 30 seconds. And then if you look at Swerve and Kark, from uh, Swerve to Carcass, that's another, wow. Okay, lap times. And my fourth one's my best. I'm not surprised this time like I was last time, but, you know, I kept pushing the wrong button. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not even sure if these, these recordings came out okay. Lately, my recording's been subpar as far as how it's been recording and how many frames have been skipped. My God. Anyways, that was the summit. Um, you know what? No. Okay, that was the summit. Next time, we are going to do Empire City. Not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, it could be anything from just doing some, a normal race to like some kind of gimmick like I did last time with the, the cops. Anyways. That was an interesting race. I kind of expected it to come in second. I didn't, and somehow my last lap was my best lap. I do believe it, but hey. Anyways, I talked long enough. I'm tired of talking. You guys are tired of hearing me talk. Anyways, this is your boy Beastamon, and next time we will do Empire City. And after that, who knows? Later. <laughs>